Hello, hi, my name is Samuel Izerzer for the SE channel. Thanks for tuning in, subscribe, and uh, share as much as you can. Uh, please take your vitamin C, vitamin D, and your zinc tablets. And yeah, of course, uh, just take uh, your tonic water. It's got quinine, hydroxychloroquine, uh, or quine, hydroxychloroquine. Vitamin C, vitamin D, the most important. The zinc also very important. Um, works for me, especially these days. You never know. Um, okay, uh, remember I was talking a lot about the steel dose, how, how, you know, what a, what a crock of garbage that was uh concerning about you know they, they caught donald trump uh you know some sort of hotel some sleazy hotel with two hookers and and they were peeing on the, on the bed or you know and, and whatever well I, it was a fake dossier and this is what the basis of the Mueller report was um and ted cruz literally grills um mr comey or former fbi director didn't know what to say um I, I, you got to hear this. This is uh, he. He really grills. I mean, he knows what he's talking about. Ted Cruz. He he did. He does. He did his research and all. I mean, I knew about this about two years. And then when you talk about a lot of these progressive and Marxist and or socialist or even just like middle ground liberals who understand, you know, you know steel dossier. What is that? I mean, of course, if you if you watch a misinformation, you'll they'll never talk about that. Um, but uh, you got to hear this. Uh, he literally grills it. Literally grills call me. Okay, hey, hold on a minute. Let me just get this straight here. For a fraudulent submission to the FISA court. You believe that is honest and competent, Mr. Comey? I don't believe you've offered an accurate summary of the Horowitz's findings. Mr. Comey, I have the report right in front of me. Page 254 describes how the lawyer, specifically the words and not a source, had been inserted, inserted in the response directly reversing what the CIA says. Was it practice in your FBI to fraudulently alter evidence that you submit to federal courts? It was not the practice in the FBI to fraudulently alter anything as presented to federal courts. Well, it, it is difficult to say that, that an investigation that featured fraudulent evidence is competent and honest. But let's move on to something else. The predicate of much of this investigation was the steel dossier which has now been totally discredited as garbage when did you learn that the steel dossier was being funded by the democratic national committee and the hillary clinton campaign again i believe your predicate is inaccurate but i first learned of the steel dossier in late september of 2016 and understood that it was funded by political opposition to president trump or candidate Trump. I didn't know the specifics of which part of the opposition, but I knew that it was political opposition research funded. When? When did you learn that? I think about the time I was briefed on it, so about the same time, probably. Don't you think that maybe I think he's lying? I mean, you know, uh, the DNC actually paid for the steel dossier, which was a fake dossier. Um, and how, could he, how, how did he not know that it was paid by Fusion D GPS uh funded by the, the dnc i mean it, it just doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense i don't think he's telling the truth here we knew about it how did he not know third week of september so you were personally aware that that the political opposition whether the dnc or hillary clinton or whatever whatever campaign bucket it was coming from it was the opposing party that was funding it you were specifically aware of it in september why didn't you tell the fisa court why did you admit that over and over and over again on applications you submitted. Didn't the court deserve to know that? My recollection is the FISA court was alerted to the possibility that it was a politically biased reporting. Your, your recollection is, is false. The FISA court was not told that it was funded by the DNC. That's one of the omissions that your FBI did repeatedly to the... That is very, very important because the FISA court did not know that the steel dossier, the basis for everything, for this whole Mueller report, everything, that the fact that it it was it, it was the DNC, the Democratic Socialist, well, I don't know, Marxist Socialist Party that actually paid for this fake dossier that we had two years of this whole Russian collusion garbage. Federal court. All right. Said, Another. Not what I, Go ahead. That's not what I just said. So. Well, what did you just say? I said, my recollection is the court was alerted that there was potential political bias in this reporting. 
Political bias is different from saying it was funded by the Hillary Clinton campaign. You just testified to this committee. You were specifically aware of that, and yet you repeatedly did not inform the court of it when you were getting an order to essentially weaponize the, the Democratic opposition research. All right, next question. When did you- this 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 one probably be, be the best one? Uh, we're talking about the Russian who actually um, was being investigated by the FBI. Guy, I, I, even if you're making this stuff up, the FBI was investigated. This Russian guy was giving information to the Steele dossier. This guy was investigated for spying. She can't make it up. Did you learn that the primary subsource, so the basis for this garbage steel dossier, was a suspected Russian asset? I don't remember ever being informed of any prior investigation of the, any of Steele's sources, including the primary subsource. So you're not aware of it today? I'm aware of it today because I read it in the public sphere and I've read a summary memo that the Department of Justice sent to the Judiciary Committee. I would note the primary subsource the primary. was subject to FBI investigation, a counterintelligence investigation from 2009 to 2011. And I will read some of what the investigation was. The primary subsource approached two individuals who were about to enter the Obama administration and indicated that if, if quote, the two individuals at the table did get a job in the government and had access to classified information and wanted to make a little extra money, the primary subsource knew some people to whom they could speak. Is trying to recruit spies against the U.S. government. You have a Russian agent that is the basis for an FBI investigation. And the FBI is the one who had investigated them. Your testimony is you didn't know. Did, did, did it occur to you to ask? Did you, did, did, was, did you ask any questions or do any due diligence on this at all? I don't remember anything about the, the facts that have been revealed recently about the subsource. And as I said earlier, I think that cuts both ways, but I don't know how the people running the investigation thought about it. Well, you didn't tell the FISA court that either, and I suspect the FISA court would have had a very different assessment if you had told them that the basis for your application was what you were being told from a suspected Russian asset. All right, let's shift to another topic. On May 3rd, 2017, in this committee, Chairman Grassley asked you point blank, quote, have you ever been an anonymous source in news reports about matters relating to the Trump investigation or the Clinton investigation? You responded under oath, quote, never. He then asked you, quote, have you ever authorized someone else at the FBI to be an anonymous source in news reports about the Trump investigation or the Clinton administration? You responded again under oath, no. Now, as you know, Mr. McCabe, who works for you, has publicly and repeatedly stated that he leaked information to the Wall Street Journal and that you were directly aware of it and that you directly authorized it. Now, what Mr. K... That, that is huge. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, that is huge. Just like the, the Russian guy who was giving information to the Steele dossier, who was actually a Russian agent or Russian spy or whatever... This is huge because he lied under oath. McCabe is saying, and what you testified to this committee cannot both be true. One or the other is false. Who's telling the truth? I can only speak to my testimony. I stand by what uh, the testimony you summarized that I gave in May of 2017. So your testimony is you've never authorized anyone to leak. And Mr. McCabe, when he, if he says contrary, is not telling the truth. Is that correct? Again, I'm not going to characterize Andy's testimony, but mine is the same today. All right, I'm going to make a final point because my time has expired. This investigation of the president was corrupt. The FBI and the Department of Justice were politicized and weaponized. And in my opinion, there are only two possibilities. That you were deliberately cor corrupt or woefully incompetent. And I don't believe you were incompetent. This has done severe damage to the professionals and the honorable men and women at the FBI because law enforcement should not be used as a political weapon. And that is the legacy you've left. Senator Blumenthal. Oh, grilled. Oh. Grilled. Totally grilled. Anyways, my name is Samuel Lezerza for the SE Channel.
please tune in and subscribe as much as you can. This is stuff that I like. Actually, by the way, I've just been demonetized again by YouTube. I guess they don't like what I have to say. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, stuff like this just reinforces. I just hope the 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 actual uh, like actually if you're if you're a real Democrat like a, like a Democrat but wants to know the truth, you should just listen to this. All these lies because this was a a, a a coup, a coup. That's what it was. You know the you know the, you know yesterday they were talking about the transition. Are you going to give a transition period and Mr. Trump and all that. Well, Donald Trump is right, actually. It's, uh, the, you know, the, the, the transition from Obama to Trump was, was like, horrific. Um, you see, it, it's just the opposite. But anyways, my name is Sam Mizzurs for the SC Channel. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you like this, uh, this little uh, video here. And um, subscribe. Just subscribe and share as much as you can. Take care.